What is up guys, Freno1 here, welcome to my live reaction to Shogeki no Soma chapter 303, the God Tongue in Despair. Alright guys, so last week we pretty much had Megami standing up to Cyber Asashi. Basically saying, look, I want to challenge you, if I win... You leave Aaron and I alone, indefinitely, no ifs, no buts, done, dusted. Now, if you win, you can continue to do whatever the hell you want. As he, uh, Cyber basically said, alright, but you need to get through this guy first, and this guy's one of my disciples. So Megami goes, alright, and just, bang, destroys the guy. This guy is a, sorry guys, I'm just going to turn this off. This guy is a former assassin uh, from a family that basically end up taking their uh, weapons, change it into gourmet food, and become really well known that way. Megami defeats him very, very quickly, easily one-shots him, as they put it. And then Cyber gets his knives and also pulls out King's knife. And he says, with these knives, the two chefs that you've defeated, I will defeat you. So similarly now, we're going to get the match between Cyber Asashi and Megumi. How's it going to go down? Let's find out, guys. We've got the page up as always. If you want to follow along, bring it up on your tablet, PC, wherever it is you read your manga. Bring it up, follow along with me. Makes it a bit more interactive for you. And as always, guys, let's smash this out. All right. The user of super luxury ingredients is Monarch. And the inheritor of the ink claw, the assassin, Koshio. I'll multiply together the strengths of knives that, that alone couldn't match up to you. Show you the reaches of my power. The performance begins. Chapter 303, the god tongue in despair. So she's there looking super intimidating. Megami's like, mm, alright, what the hell did I walk into? I do say... I see Summer's hobbies certainly are something. Making a collection of knives he's stolen from the enemy. And storing them with pictures of their former owner's faces. Kind of reminds me of a serial killer. Hey, that's supposed to be an insult. The pictures are because I forget what belongs to whom. <laughs> he's got his shoes like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I like that. A little bit of comedy, I like that. After all, all the knives in this trunk once belonged to the chefs. I thought were amazing. Okay, so he used to think all these chefs were amazing. And these are all chefs he's defeated. Monarch. That's the guy Megami, Megami took care of in the hot springs town. When did Soba face him and take his knife? So Soba is just remembering who he is. I'm kind of surprised that some actually remembered him. To be honest. Hmm. So I guess he's going to beat Tadokuro with the knives of chefs she beat. To show her just how strong he is. So that's Takumi. This is Izumi. He seems pretty confident. Now then. We will announce the theme ingredient for this match. Okay. So they're taking off. Huh? Hmm. Alright. So something sale. Huh? Bargain meat sold at less than 190 yen per 100 grams. You'll be fighting using this as your main ingredient. Oh, a theme similar to the convenience store at the second gate. I suppose they'll be tested on their ability to turn this cheap meat into gourmet fare. Okay. Alright, this is kind of right up Soma's alley. Alright, this might just be a lucky break for me. So maybe we say, alright, this might be something that she can deal with. Alright. I've immersed myself in hometown and household cooking from around the world. I've learned so many techniques for making cheap ingredients taste delicious. I should be able to use a lot of those experiences in this battle. So we see, you know, we've got, to, uh, looks like Amsterdam, Egypt, uh, France, China, looks like a different country. So she's been all over the world learning these skills. Besides, is that monarch guy's ability cooking with super luxurious ingredients? Yeah, you're right. That's the opposite of this battle. This might just give Tadoka the upper... Uh. 
And Samus knows something. Looks like Atsushi's going in. Cyber Atsushi's already started his preparation. What the? What's he aiming at? So we've got Cyber Atsushi. He's doing... He's going nuts. Looks like he's using the ink claws. Come. Come. Taste to your heart's content. Okay. The power of cross knives. So he's there holding the knife. He's got his uh, claws there. And he's just going nuts. Everyone's watching him. We've got a super intense look on his face. Alright. Whoa. Look at that thick, juicy meat. He made you go gorgeous cuts of roast. Alright, so it looks like he's made a roast. There's no way something... There's no way something's up with this dish. No one can make bargain meat smell like this. I guess we've got to taste ah, these sweet smelling herbs. Their fragrance stimulates my appetite. So it looks like he's added herbs and everything. Alright. They're tasting. They're like, mm, obviously it's delicious. What is this? The flavor's deep. This flavor's deep enough to sweep me away. Every time I bite into it, it's juices drench me in a rain of umami. So we got them like literally just like, ah. so obviously now a foodgasm. But where did it come from? I have to assume he brought it out of the meat itself. Yes, a gentle resting and dry aging like luxury grade food. Indeed, your sense of taste is certainly quite refined. One of the five ink claws imparts umami flavor. That is what I used. Okay. So he, can't, he used one of the claws to add umami to it. Alright. That's not super creative, but like, alright. He turned a standard bit cut of meat into a bit more, something a bit more luxurious. Alright. Fair enough. He just kind of added the flavor to it. Besides, when you dry aged meat, you let it rest for a few weeks to, to months at the perfect temperature and humidity. The proteins in the red meat break down and umami compounds like amino acids are released. This claw contains plenty of those compounds. Okay, so in one of those claws, he can basically recreate that. Uh, basically recreate it. That's right. In these past few minutes, I've prepared meat that tastes as if it's been aged for two months. And I've given that super luxurious meat the cooking preparation it deserves. Or with the power of cross knives. Okay. What in the world? Impossible. How can he? Come to think of it, a few days ago, I heard a pair of chefs try quite hard to come up with an interesting verine. If I just had their knives, I could make a verine that far surpasses even theirs. Without any of the sweat of practice. Okay, so that's him taking a shot at Takumi and Isami. Now then, how does this dish of my opponent, Todoka to Megami, taste? So Megami's made one as well. Delicious. She's brought this bargain meat as high as it possibly can possibly go. But her opponent has literally changed the quality of the meat itself. He surpassed the limits that the nature of the meat itself imposes. Okay. So it looks like Cyber's won this one. This dish simply doesn't match that explosion of flavor. The victor is Cyber Asashi. Absol absolutely ridiculous. You tell me that multiplying together two abilities allows you to cook something as delicious as that? What's more, he's got many more tools than just those two. If you fight him, you're essentially going up against multiple chefs at once. Who in the world could ever defeat something like that? Right, so they're basically setting him up to be super formidable and you're not taking on him, you're taking out all the chefs he's defeated. Alright. You're watching you're watching on some monitor somewhere, aren't you, Miss Bookmaster? How was that? My superhuman ability really is something, ain't it? Multiplying together two knives has infinite applications. It's virtually guaranteed to bring forth a dish that's never 
before been tasted in the history of the world. I alone am the person worthy of standing atop blue. <laughs> hey, watch your tone. You're speaking to the top of the WGO. By the way, if I win, there's something I want. Okay. So the question is, what does he want? Looks like he's, he's literally talking to the Aaron's mum. Here's something that I... Here's something that I feel I should have your approval for. That should make it obvious enough, right? <laughs> I love it. So he's talking about Erna. Er er hey, are you listening? Something he wants? What is he talking about? I have no idea. There's no way to tell what a madman like him is thinking about. This was the man, wasn't it? The chef that was courting Erna. Yes. Hmm. Do what you wish. The chef that can produce the dishes I seek shall receive whatever their heart desires. So I'm asked the sheets. So we've got Erin. That's definitely Erin. That has to be Erin. I have high expectations for you. Hmm? How about that? Pretty good demonstration, wasn't it? Seems like your mum liked it. How do you know about mother? Come on. I had to investigate you a little, you know. After all, you're my wife to be. <laughs> so he's like, uh, yeah. Is there no limit to your insolence? Snooping around in other people's business. How dare you? So Aaron is pissed. I'm going to take the crown of blue and then I'll be the one to make mother a dish that's never before existed on this earth. I won't be satisfied unless I win over her like that. You've no role to play here. Deep down. Alright, so she's... Deep down, you've realised it, haven't you? The God Tongue can never make your mother's wishes come true. Okay. Why is that? The God Tongue is what broke Nakiri Mana. Thing that made... Her despair about cooking itself. The thing that prevents her from eating a real meal. What she needs is a completely different ability. Without that, she'll never get the dishes she seeks. Can't you feel the atmosphere in here? No one, no one's doubting my victory anymore. In fact, I'd like you to show me one person that disagrees with me. The chef that will be her saviour isn't you. Okay. It's me. Um, you are so... I disagree. Oh, it's so much. It has to be so... Oh, it's so much like, I disagree. The God Tongue despairs. Its last hope lies with... It's so much. It has to be so much. There's only one person we know that wears this thing, that wears the little scarf there. It's so much. Chapter 303. End. All right. That's a solid chapter, guys. I actually really, really enjoy that chapter. But anyway, guys, that is my live reaction for Shogeki no Soma, chapter 303. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up. It will be greatly appreciated. And of course, guys, hit that thumbs up. Ring that bell because it will dingle when you hit it and it will dangle whenever I upload. And as always, guys, I'm Freno1. You guys are awesome. Smash that thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It's completely and totally free. And you know we like that free shit. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time with another live reaction. Peace.